that is probably gonna be one of the last times you hear this truck start up. We do have a buyer that's gonna be here next week picking this truck up. With that being said, we're gonna take it to a car wash, do a quick rinse down there with the pressure washer since mine's broken. Before they pick it up, we're gonna do another wash. We do have new merch that just dropped on jwmotorsportsco.com. Some of those new designs are really cool, especially if you like uh, diesel trucks, like turbos and stuff like that. Till the end of December, every $10 you spend is gonna get you an entry towards a CTS3 monitor. That is because all the support that you guys give me by purchasing the merch, I do wanna give you guys some sort of incentive. This is a CTS2. The one that I'll be giving you guys is a CTS3, so it'll be better than this one. The layout's a little bit better, and it, it's less glitchy, because this one's kind of glitchy. I mean, this is a little older, so. Get entered. Thank you all for always supporting this channel. Also, quick reminder, I do have a 1500 build on the channel. This is the build that we are going to be starting on on the channel. So I've basically done 50% of the filming. I just haven't released it yet because I'm trying something different. I'm doing series of builds. And what I wanna do is instead of making you guys wait like a whole month or two of, of, of a build getting done, you know, with the COVID going on with the parts and we got the lift kit. The lift kit already came in, tires came in, the amp steps came in and all that, the whole nine yards. I even filmed the lift kit getting powder coat and everything. Right now we are just waiting for the wheels to get here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm trying, I'm gonna make probably like a three to four video and upload it all at once that week. Instead of making you guys wait like a whole month, um, giving you guys an introduction today, and waiting like a whole month for the wheels to come in and whatnot. What we're gonna do is, I'm gonna go ahead and film everything. And once we are done with that truck, that week, you guys are gonna get all the episodes. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think of that idea. If not, I got two videos ready to post now. Speaking of comments, you guys are absolutely killing it. Wow, there's a lot of older generation of people that watch my videos. I thought it would just be a lot of younger guys, uh, people younger than me or people like around my age, but there's a lot of, surprisingly, there is a decent amount of people who are in their 40s and 50s watch my videos, which I respect and thank you all for tuning in. I thank you all for tuning in, ages from 12 to 60, 70. Thank you all for tuning in. Make sure to drop this video a like. The question of the day is, what is your profession? So obviously if you are under the age of like 18, uh, put student, unless you have a part-time job, then let me know what you do as a part-time job to make money. And uh, anyone else, let me know, leave a comment below what your profession is. And I encourage you to scroll through the comments and see if you can find another person that's in a similar or same profession as you. First stop, fuel station. We'll wash her up real quick and then do a full, full walk around of this truck. Dang, why does she gotta look so good before I sell it? So we're gonna do a complete walk around of this truck. Obviously, this is probably gonna be the, one of the last times you guys will see this truck on the channel. To get started, let's go ahead and pop the hood open. All right, so we pop the hood open. As you can see, you see some little, you see some blue piping. So when I bought this truck, so we're gonna do a little story time. When I bought my LLY Duramax, the OG LLY, the white one, but that was a huge learning curve for me because I knew nothing about diesels. So only thing I did was tune, delete, and exhaust. And I didn't even delete it. I just did a blocker plate on it. On the OG LOI, I never even made it to doing a lift pump. So when I got this truck, I told myself I wanted to do a little bit more performance stuff. Focus more on um, adding a little bit more power and actually like tuning and deleting the truck right. So the first thing we did was we did an air dog. 165 and after that what we did was this is a 2011 lml duramax and for those of you guys that are in the loop with the lmls so one of the biggest flaws of the lml truck is that it comes with a cp4 pump and those are known for grenading itself it's not very common but it does happen so what i did was because i was a little paranoid and I figured a lot of the LML owners would appreciate me doing a CP3 conversion on this truck and documenting it. So 
can't see it, I don't know why I pointed to it. Sportsman CP3 pump on there with SDP's CP3 conversion kit. Their kit is one of the most complete and reliable kits out there for doing a CP3 conversion on the LMLs. And while we were doing that, we did the, we did the whole Y bridge and the piping intake and everything through SDP. And we have a bigger turbo. We have Ryan's Diesel Services 66 millimeter turbo. Oh my God. <laughs> Bro. Dude, do you hear that? So that is basically like all the performance side of the truck. Oh, and the truck does have a three inch downpipe, uh, PP up pipe and five inch exhaust. So that is pretty much like the performance side of this truck. And the reason why I did all that is because I wanted to make this truck as reliable as possible. I didn't really do all that for racing. I wanted it to be reliable at the same time, get a little bit more power out of it. And I did the turbo because I love the way the turbo sounds. So that's the uh, performance side of things. We'll start from the front. I love the Denali look. This is a Denali. So I wanted to keep as much of the Denali look as possible. And as Dirty Max Jack would call it, the OEM Plus. And I wanted that OEM Plus look as well as the aftermarket look. Here we have Alpha X USA's headlights. It has a little C just like the newer 1500s. And then we have Flog Industries off-road bumper, fully powder coated. I wanted polished inserts. And the reason why I wanted polished inserts was because, like I said, I wanted to keep OEM Plus look. I wanted to keep it as Denali as possible with an off-road bumper. One of the key things about a Denali is that it comes with chrome trim pieces. So the grill is chrome, side badging and everything is chrome, door handles chrome. And I got these Boost Auto Parts mirrors with chrome caps because I wanted to match the chrome on the Denali. So when I ordered the Flog Industries bumper, I got the inserts to be chrome and or polished and then this little insert to be polished to match the denali and that actually is a pretty similar design originally i wanted the hooks to be polished as well but we ended up getting the metal ones and i had to get it powder coated and speaking of the black and chrome on the denali the mcgoy seven to nine inch kit this is the ss series ss stands for stainless steel it matches the truck so well i mean it works so well with black and chrome of this Denali. So the lift kit, it's a seven to nine inch kit. And I got this, the powder coat name is Spanish Fly. I wanted to do gold on this truck, but the gold was a little bit too much. And I kind of wanted to do copper, but copper was a little bit too dull. So when I saw that, to me, that's like the perfect mixture of gold and copper. So I went with this color. It's a little bit more orange than I wanted it to, but still it complements this truck really well. So seven to nine inch McGoy's lift kit with the McGoy's upper control arm, a reservoir shocks. It's set pretty much at eight, eight and a half right now up front. And the back is still at seven. It does lean just a little bit, but not enough to where it looks bad. And the wheels right here, we have the 24 by 14 Archon Victory. These are the true directional wheels, meaning the wheels up front face this way on this side and the other side would also face the same way so not all four of the wheels have to go the same way all right and then we have the amp 37 1350 tires which to me i have no complaints a lot of people ask if i like my amp tires and to me they ride just as good as like your top dollar tires and if you really ask anyone else with amp tires they'll tell you that they ride great however one thing i did notice is that when some people do get bad tires from amp and those bad tires are bad, but all the good ones are pretty good because these are good. And then the tires on my LOI are good too. So I got no complaints with my amp tires, but I have seen that some of the, there are some bad, bad batches out there that do give amp tires a bad rep. We have the traction bars, McGoy's traction bars, powder coated at Jimmy Rivers and Augusta. In the back, McGoy's reservoir shocks axle dumped we have smoked out tail lights these are ebay ones no complaints they work really good and the tailgate light bar mctuning super bright no complaints at all had them for about a year and they work really good and we have a 12 inch drop gen y hitch with the gen y hook and the bolt locks which these are really convenient because 
all of these locks are programmed to my factory key fob so I only need one key to unlock all these locks which is really convenient and this hook actually came in really handy when I had to pull a couple of people And as far as the rock lights go, we have about 24 of the rock lights. And in the future, we are selling rock lights on jwmotorsportsco.com. Those are stupid bright. And I'll, I'll be putting those on all of my trucks from now on. Uh, we're going to be putting them on Mark's truck. And all my friends are probably going to be running the uh, my, my branded rock lights. In the rear, we have 2-inch far from stock wheel spacers since the tunes are motor ops tunes i had to get it reflashed a couple times when i did the cp3 conversion as well as when i did brian's diesel services 66 millimeter turbo also we can't forget about horn blasters right there as dumb as it sounds one of my favorite things about this truck was the horn blasters train horns when i got it just because it's so fun i don't care how old you are having train horns is always going to be fun and then we have the boost auto parts mirrors like i talked about but these are the switchback mirrors so whenever i turn they uh it'll turn to amber and it'll blink so lots and lots of good memories with this truck uh, i bought this truck about two years ago two and a half years ago it looked completely different back then and it was a huge risk in a way for me because the LOI was everyone's favorite. And when I bought this truck, people weren't sure how it was gonna turn out. I mean, there were a lot of people that doubted me on how the next bill was gonna be. And some people set a higher expectations on what the bill was gonna be. And I wanna say I've accomplished it. I've built this truck better than the previous LOI, the OG LOI. All the modifications on here were done right. I mean, it's a full EGR delete instead of doing a blocker plate. And I even did a LB7 style up pipe. I wanted this truck to be done right. While doing that, I wanted to document it so that way anybody doing an LML Duramax can do it right as well. So it's a, it's a bittersweet moment. Uh, I love this truck. I figured there was nothing else that I could really do more on this truck that would grab your guys' attention. Uh, I thought about doing a 10 to 12 inch lift and doing 40s and different wheels and tires, but doing it on this truck, I felt like it was a little bit repetitive. So I figured, let me get a newer truck and just do it on that. So stay tuned. I do have a couple of trucks lined up and uh, I might go test drive a couple of Power Strokes and uh, maybe a couple of Cummins, just because why not keep your options open. So yeah. This truck will be sold whenever the buyer comes to get it. We'll do a video on it that day as long as they're okay with it. But yeah, thank you guys all for your support. Stay tuned for the new build because it's going to be way better than this one. I'm going to want up it. Oh yeah, and I forgot to mention on the inside, it's pretty basic. We have Boost Auto Parts wireless charger. And this is a custom box ported specifically for this style this body style LML Duramax. I did buy it from a friend of mine who had a Chevy. So there's a Chevy emblem right there. But this box is stout. It's a, did I say two eights? Yeah, it's got two eights, but it really hits. One of my favorite parts about this truck, like I said, it's, a, it's the uh, horn blasters, but the way it's wired up is really cool because we don't have any buttons here. The way it works is, I don't know how they did it, so you use your CTS-2 and uh, this kicks my compressor on so this controls the horn so that means regular horn and that means well train horns. 